Okay, great. Let's go. I'm Julian Pescher. I'm the brewer from Hoppy Road in Nancy, microbrewery based in Nancy, created in uh, 216. Uh, it's been almost uh, five years we are brewing beers, uh, hoppy beers, sour beers, with fruits mostly of the time, uh, and dog beers, strong dog beers, like the one you are drinking. Um, we are three associates in the business. We have one employee and uh, we are brewing a bit uh, less than uh, 2,000 uh, hectoliters per year. And uh, Where is your market? Is it the French market? It's a difficult the French market was a difficult market to break into. No, it's not so hard because there are no a uh, lot of breweries in France, but uh, there is still place for everyone because the beer, drink, the beer drinkers are much uh, more uh, numerous than the brewers, you know. So uh, it's a it's a very nice uh, market for brew and sell beers and bring beers. I started the creation of the brewery with Lucas, my associate. You so understand. Uh, we were in a reconversion, professional, professional reconversion, and uh, we uh, used to brew in my kitchen for four years. And in uh, 2015, we uh, yeah, 2015, 2015, we uh, started thinking about create the brewery. Uh, we had uh, several brews, about uh, 150 brews at home. And uh, because we were thinking of uh, changing uh, uh, of life and, uh, and of profession, we uh, start thinking of creating a brewery. So we did it. What's your background? My background, oh. I'm, uh, I used to, um, to uh, be a student in mathematics and then in music. And then uh, I became a brewer because I love beer. I love creating beer, brewing beer, drinking beer. And uh, the idea be became an evidence to, uh, to have a brewery. Now what's your beers that you really love? I mean, I keep talking about the Mazut, but I'm a stout now. Yeah, no. yeah. What's we love Mazut too. Yeah. <laughs> it's our most powerful beer, I think. Uh, it's a strong imperial stout, um, straight from the tank or um, barrel aged in Bourbon, in Isla, in Speyside, in Rome. But we uh, brew uh, a lot of uh, other beers, like copy beers. We love to, uh, to brew IPAs, to drink IPAs. We love to uh, brew uh, sour beers, uh, mostly uh, German style, Berliner Weisse or Goes. And uh, we are starting right now, this year, to brew uh, mixed fermentation beers. So with the uh, bacteria, with uh, um, um, wild yeast, uh, sometimes uh, issued from the wine, you know, from the yeast of the wine. Uh, and uh, here it is. Where do you hope to go from here? Where, Where are you going? going? We hope to brew more of that, that kind of beers I'm talking about. To brew much, continue to keep on brewing IPAs, OP beers, to keep on brewing uh, stouts, but to uh, increase the production of uh, mixed, uh, mixed fermentation and uh, maybe one day spontaneous beers. We'll see. How is the scene in Nancy? Is the craft scene difficult to break into? Or? Yeah, in Nancy it's uh, very provincial, you know. So there is not a lot of uh, craft spots. There's not craft bars. There's one craft bar. There's a very good uh, cellar, uh, craft cellar, which uh, exists since for 12 years now, I think, which is called La Capsule which I worked in, in 2015, and, uh, but in the bars it's not very uh, developed, so uh, the, um, the, the public in Nancy is not very familiar with that kind of beers, and our job is to promote that kind of beers to, the, to these people, and uh, maybe one day we'll open our proper bar, I hope so, in Nancy, to make the things 
go on and so on. What percentage of your beers are going exported and what percentage of uh, Export is very small. It's, we, export, we, we export in uh, a bit in Belgium, a bit in Netherlands, a bit in uh, UK, a bit in Spain, a bit in Portugal. But every, every time it is very small volumes. So it's very on the, on the margin of w what we are selling. The, the, most, uh, the most side of the volume we are producing is sold in a bit around NC and almost uh, the entire part in France, everywhere in France. In the mixed fermentation beers, it seems to be a big style and people are, a lot of brewers seem to be talking about it. Is, is it going to be the style of the month? Yeah, it's very exciting because that, th these are very complex beers. Uh, which take time to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to manage and to, uh, to produce. But it's very interesting because it's not just like the usual kitchen, you know. We, we, uh, we, do, uh, we let the time make his, his own on that kind of beers. And it's very exciting. But it's very hard too because it's a risk, important risk for the older beers, for the clean beers. So when you want to start that kind of production, you have to, to have a proper, uh, a proper, uh, merde, comment dire, local? Area. Uh, yes, yeah, a proper area, a proper pr premise, premise for that kind of uh, a produ a product. Because it's very, it's very dangerous for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bretonomyces, but bacteria too can be very dangerous for the other production. So you have to split on, you know. And where is your inspiration from? From what we taste, from other brewers, French brewers, or American brewers, or German brewers, or English brewers. It's always that kind of uh, inspiration. And, and the wine is a big inspiration too, you know. Nature wine, and what you can put from one plant, and all the the panel of aromas you can uh, you can have with just one ingredient. It's a very great inspiration for us. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you.